believe to be the local tavern. That is down the street. Show me your swords and flails. We sell only the finest melee weapons here. Much too expensive for you. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Oh yes, a dirk. How quaint. Not much protection. But it will fit within your means, I suppose. I could let you have it for a pittance. Well, maybe not a pittance to you. I suppose we need to sell these to someone. This won't do you much good, but one can afford what one can afford. Everything is currently out of stock. Please leave. See you, old man. Everything is currently out of stock. Please leave. See you, old man. Nobody lies about me lady and gets away with it, Bard. I think you meant to say lies with, which is funny because I heard. Enough out of you. You're a little soft, aren't you? to the bard that knocking the piss out of Connor would fail to solve his current problem. Ready to clean my boots with your face again? I'll do for you this time. I suggest a new strategy. Taking aim. Let Connor win. Be healed! Ready to clean my boots with your face again? I'll do for you this time. I've had enough. I yield. Oh, you beat him senseless. That was wonderful, Connor. I never realized how manly you were. Let's forget this loser and go someplace quiet. Whatever you say, love. I hope nobody important saw that.
I've made your daughter happy, Grandpa, so hand over the belt. I don't know how you did it, son. I owe you thanks for getting her out of my hair. What's left of it? I'll miss these pleasant chats of ours. The bell is yours for the taking. There's an old horse out in the pasture, the bell's around his neck. Good luck. <laughs> you chase the old nag around the pasture and grab the bell, and I won't slaughter all your chickens. How's that? Well, me chasing that nag will do neither of us any good. I'll drop dead and you still won't have the bell. <laughs> as much as I'd like that, I do need the bell. That old horse is possibly the meanest, nastiest creature I've ever known, present company included. I put that bell on him so that I could hear him coming and get away as far as possible. If you get the bell off that horse, you'll be sure and thank Bo for providing a poor old man such amusement. Which one? There's more than one. Never mind.
I see you're just as good with animals as you are with people. He started it, and I have the oof marks to prove it. Uh, you need help burying your horse? Shh! Don't call it my horse. I've never seen this animal before! The town elders see that you spilled the blood of my horse here will be stoned. They used to use this site for executions and sacrifices back when we still did that sort of thing. I'm not about to be here when they decide to start again. Great. Just what I need. A mob of angry villagers at my heels. <laughs> you aren't going to just leave it here, are you? I'll come back after dark when nobody can see me. Now, let's flee from this place. And so the bard, with bell in hand and the smell of horse on his shoes, rushed back to the temple to meet his new lady. She's not my lady. I see you've returned. I see you have quite the knack for stating the obvious. Did you bring us the bell? It took a bit of doing and left quite a mess, but here it is. That's a nice little horse bell you've got there. But where's the bell we need? What are you talking about? The bell we want is blue and has a little cow on it. That's some information that would have been useful earlier. <laughs> Forgive them, my friend. They are quite mischievous by nature. Yeah, charming. I will miss them. Oh I'm sure a talk with the princess will soften your anger. We shall summon her now. It had better work this time. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What's in this for me? A straight to the point kind of man. Impressive. What do you get for free me? Well, you'll get me, riches beyond your wildest dreams, my kingdom at your feet, and me. You said me, twice. Well, anything worth having is worth repeating. Good point. So, are you going to give me directions, or uh, are we just going to stand here desiring each other? <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Touché. There is something you will need to obtain before you can free me. This just keeps getting better and better. And what do I need, other than a mental examination? In the forest around Highland Park, there is a trow who possesses a magical loot which you will need in order to rescue me. They are a stubborn and evil bunch, but you should be able to outwit them. Once you've obtained the instrument, return here, and I will give you further instructions. Like what? Go out and slay a few dragons and capture moonbeams in a jar? 
How about this? Let's call the whole thing off. I wanted to run around with a trout to marry the farmer's daughter. There's no bluffing me, Bard. I have the power to see into your mind. I want you to take those images in your head right now. Think of having them thrice daily, and then rethink if you'd like to help me. So, where is this park exactly? My devoted servants will show you. Good luck, my friend. And return here once you have the loot. So, what was that image in your head? None of your business. Wait, let me guess. You don't have a key to this gate, and I have to defeat some wizard on a mountaintop somewhere to get it, right? My goodness, where do you get such ideas? I have the key right here. First time for everything. Of course, now I have to spoil this moment by asking, why are these gates locked in the first place? This used to be a wonderful park where the town would gather to play games and share food. It was overrun by Kunal Trow, so we keep it locked for the town's safety. Leave it to a Kunal Trow to spoil a pig. Before I head into mortal danger, I just have to ask, what's with all the missing limbs? Oh, well, at one time or another, we've all tried to rescue the princess. This is about as far as we've gotten. I'm sure you'll fare much better. We sent one of our brothers in a few days ago. Keep an eye out for him and he'll be sure to help you. If he's still alive, that is. That is so reassuring. Good luck! And the bard, already bowing to the wishes of his betrothed, made his way to the trow-infested Highland Park. Before you say anything, I'm not here to cause any trouble. Cause no trouble, and you'll have none from me. What is it you want here? All I need is a magical instrument from a trow in this park, and I'll be on my way. Are you him? I be not, but I know who be he. You do well to turn around now, for he's not an accommodating sort. I have to at least make an effort. Perhaps we can make some sort of arrangement? Can you take me to him? No need, stranger. Fnarf will be here any moment. Fnarf? Oh, you've crossed paths before. Yeah, and it was quite a crossing. It said Fnarf never forgets a face. Or a grudge. Well, that won't do either of us any good. Treat him with respect and he may not gut you on the spot. Well, that's comforting to hear. If it isn't the very boorish black guard I was hoping to see. I was about to say the same thing, but uh, with less embellishment. Master, this traveler has come for a magical instrument. Oh, is that correct? You're after my prized possession, huh? Well, you may have it over my cold cadaver. It's a shame you learn so slowly. I hate teaching a lesson twice. You'll notice that you have a considerably larger class to teach. 
You are a fortuitous fella to catch me off guard last time. This time, I've come properly prepared. You do appear more prepared, but I can still teach you a thing or two. Let the educational experience begin! for duty. Oh, good, you're here. Listen, I was sent to help you. I know you're after Fanarf, and I'd like to help you find him. But I'm afraid of those dirty little trowel. If you protect me, I'll help you get past them. I seriously doubt that I need your help. <laughs> These trowel are no match for me. I wasn't suggesting that I help you fight the trowel. I was only going to show you the way. When you change your mind, I'll be right here, behind this tree. I'll tell you what, you stay there guarding the tree and I'll come back for you if I need something. I told you that you'd need my help. Are you ready to admit it? I admit it. Let's go. Look out! It's the trowel! <laughs> Okay, time for me to help. Watch out. That's a... Ow, that had to hurt. Actually, I, I kind of enjoyed it. And they call me a deviant. Look out! It's the trowel! Never get tired of watching that.
Okay, here we go again! Is it just me? Look or does it smell like bacon? It's the trowel! Okay, here we go again! Come <laughs> on. 
Oh, no. I should never have left him. Left him? What do you mean? I was sort of guiding him through the forest, but I sort of, you know, left him when the trow attacked. I wonder what that must feel like. He wasn't by any chance after the same thing I am, was he? As a matter of fact, he was. But he wasn't like you. He was special. He said he was the one. The chosen. Don't finish that sentence. But if you mention the chosen one again, I'm going to be feeding pieces of you to the trow. Now, let's see if he has anything useful on him. And so our Chosen One searched a former Chosen One to see if there was anything of fine choosing on his person. Choose wisely, Chosen One. That still cracks me up. Look out! 
It's the trail! Study in contrasts. Although a seemingly vile old witch, she was an expert in providing aid to those wounded in battle, a cruel and vicious creature. Though still fragile, this rat was easily the most foul-tempered rodent anyone had ever laid eyes on. In this respect, he just barely edged out the bard. duty.
Thanks. The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. Luck has a subtle effect on many aspects of the bard's adventures. Rhythm allows the bard to play magical tunes with greater skill, enhancing the statistics of summoned creatures. Rhythm allows the bard to play magical tunes with greater skill, enhancing the statistics of summoned creatures. A high dexterity allows the bard to inflict greater damage with ranged weapons. Luck has a subtle effect on many aspects of the bard's adventures. Allows the bard to fight with a dirk in one hand and a sword in the other. The bard will counterattack in a circle after blocking, knocking down his enemies used with the two-handed weapon skill. A powerful ranged shot, which passes through its target, used with the ranged skill, gives the bard a chance to score a critical hit on his enemies, inflicting additional damage. A powerful ranged shot, which passes through its target, used with the ranged skill, The bard will automatically bash with his shield after blocking, stunning. Luck has a subtle effect on many aspects of the bard's adventures. Allows the bard to equip. The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. Allows the bard to equip and use a flail. The bard will automatically bash with his shield after blocking, stunning his enemy. A high dexterity allows the bard to inflict greater damage with ranged weapons. Oh, 
Okay, here we go again! Or yours. Somebody in need of healing. Shocking. They're gonna kill us all! Do something, bud! We're gonna die! I, 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 I can't take this much longer! Save me! Okay, here we go again! much longer. Okay, here we go again. I'll put a spell on you. Meet again, my minuscule musical menace. Can we uh, skip the alliteration and get right to the fighting? As you wish, my fiendishly fanciful foe. I'm really going to enjoy killing you. Ah! 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 
Thus ends the fight.